Hey guys, welcome to the last video of the Lent devotional series. Happy Easter if you're watching it on Easter. So let's just get straight into the passage. So the scripture portion is taken from John 20th, 1 through 18. And this story is basically what Easter is about and what um, our Christian faith, faith is built off of. Um... So early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and discovered the stone had been removed from the entrance of where Jesus had been laid. She came rushing to tell Simon Peter and the other disciples because she saw that Jesus wasn't in the tomb. She proclaimed, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have put him. Peter went into, into the tomb first and uh, he saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. Um, they didn't understand from the scripture that Jesus had risen, but Peter understood and he believed. Mary stood outside the tomb crying, and she bent over and looked inside the tomb and saw two angels robed in white. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? She responded, They have taken the Lord away. She responded, They have taken the Lord away, and we do not know where they have put him. Mary then turned around and discovered Jesus, but at that moment she didn't realize that it was Jesus. Jesus asked, Woman, why are you crying, and who are you looking for? Mary, thinking it was the gardener, says, Sir, where have you laid him? Tell me where he is, and I will take him. Jesus simply said, Mary, and with that, Mary knew it was Jesus, and happiness filled her heart. This is the day where it all hinges down to. Mary saw and heard her name be called, and she believed. She encountered the risen Lord. So what did Mary have that morning that we don't have? What do we need so that we too can experience the resurrection joy this Easter morning? Mary opened her mind and her heart to hear the voice of the Lord calling her by name. Even though she did not know it, the voice of Jesus was the only voice she wanted to hear. Thank God, for this is indeed the, the day the Lord has made. You have come to the garden. There is a gardener who wants to plant the seed of resurrection of faith in your heart. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we should all be happy and rejoice in it. Happy Easter, and thank you for watching.